Welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science and our Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about paint rockets. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We're in our science park here with one of our educators, Becky. Today we are going to learn how to make our own paint rockets at home, which sounds yeah. really cool. Really fun. But really messy as well. Yeah. So I'm sure we're going to, we'll talk more through that. So let's see, what, what do we have here? All right, so today we have film canisters. These are from back in the day when we used to have cameras that used film. Mom and, and dad we, probably know what those are. Right, but if you don't have a film canister, you could use a butter container or a medicine container. You just gotta be, find something that has a poppable top. We also have them filled with paint and a little bit of water that we've shaken up. And we're using a special something today. What are we using? So it's called Evervescent Powder. You might know it as Alka-Seltzer. So these little tablets here are what you would plop, plop, fizz, fizz. And when they enter water, they are a mixture of sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. So, and we drink that when we have an upset tummy yes. or something like that. But now we're gonna use it for art purposes and we're gonna right. create a cool art project. So just so they understand, we can't just you can't just have paint and the, the tablet, right? You have to mix a little bit of water in there. Right, about half and half works well here at the museum. And, and just why does it have to have water in it? Because the tablet here needs to dissolve in water. The paint doesn't quite have enough water for you to be able to do this experiment. And so as the tablet dissolves in an enclosed space, what is happening? So the tablet has a chemical reaction happen where carbon dioxide is given off. That's a bubble. And the bubbles are going to build up in here. And we're going to see what happens. Kids, do you think you know what would happen when we have carbon dioxide in a closed container? I don't. Okay. I have no idea. So are we going to give this a shot? Yeah, let's give it a shot. So we're going to take our top off. Okay. okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna and go you got to do this kind of quickly. Okay. So. I like to squat down as we do it. And remember, we have paper on the floor, so this is gonna help contain the mess. So you can also just do it on the grass. Oh. So wherever it is you're gonna go, needs to be able to be a washable set. So you're gonna drop it in, slam the cap on, turn it upside down, and put it on the paper, okay? And then we're gonna, oh, we're gonna do more? Okay, we're gonna do another one. Got hot pink. Oh, Ooh, that one didn't go very far. Let's see. We're gonna make a mess here. So as the oh so oh as, oh so as they explode, we're getting this almost. We're creating, and we're on an uneven surface here. But you're gonna create these almost firework burst patterns. And I guess the, you can put a whole tablet in there. It's really gonna build up a lot of pressure and right. it's really gonna send it up. So just remember, wear clothes that you don't mind getting paint on while you, when you do this experiment. Lots of fun, make a big giant mess, and afterwards you can either hang it as a beautiful work of art or you can just go ahead and roll it up and put it in the trash can and move on to your next art project that you may have. So thank you, Becky, for joining us today. A lot of fun. Everybody have a good one. We'll see you next time. We want to thank the Emil Bueller Perpetual Trust for sponsoring today's video and make sure you subscribe below.